Hello, hello, hello. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you are all of you guys doing great. Um, we will be practicing today Khan Academy assignments. You can take your status today and I will post it as a quiz grade. Ruta, how you doing? How you doing? It's nice to see you. Yeah, I see you now, yeah. Uh, let me see, yeah. <laughs> Where's your brother? Chant for that, Brian. Brian, how are you doing, Brian? Thumbs up, thumbs down, neutral. Which one? Okay. Which one, Brian? Thumbs up? Thumbs down? Okay, nice, Brian. Chandra! Chandra is there? Donnell is there? Right? Donnell, how about you? How about you? Did you call him? Oh, Daniel is not here? Yeah. Oh! Okay. Guys, let's get it started now. Pull up the image of point D under a violation about point D with a scale factor of 1 over 3. So here is the most important part is in here, ladies and gentlemen, to find the center, the center is P right here. And that is the center we will use. I am not given a coordinate plane which will make my job a little bit harder because I'm just giving a grip. Now, what we will do is we will use P as a center. So that will be guys zero, zero. P is zero, zero. Imagine, this is a coordinate plane, and this is zero, zero. All right, this is zero, zero. You will picturize the coordinate plane. You will guys picturize it in your mind, in your mind, and then and then we will find point D. We will find point D. Let's find it now. What is point uh, D now? How I can get to here? I need to walk. You are right. I need to walk. How I can walk? If I am on, on P right now, right? I need to go right. How many units? You have to count it. So let's count it, this is zero. Let's see how many units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, oh, twelve. Is it positive twelve or negative twelve, ladies and gentlemen? Daniel, what do you think? Positive or negative? Um. I can't hear you, Daniel. You are... Turn the volume up. Turn the volume up. I'm tired. I know, I know. Today is Monday. Yes, uh, Daniel, yes. I think it, it's positive. To us, right? And like Ruta said, nine down. She said, yes, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is absolutely correct. If you go right, that is positive. If you go down, it's negative. Right? And so to us, and negative nine. So let's see who will tell me if it is dilated by the scale factor of one over three. Is it going to be enlargement or reduction? What do you think? Enlargement or reduction? 
Brutal state reduction. Donald, what you say? Reduction. Reduction, correct. Surya, how about you, Annie? Sonia? Sonia! Brian! And last but to reduction, Brian! Brian! Reduction. Thank you, thank you. Yes, reduction. What operation we will do, guys? What operation we will do? Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Which operation I'm supposed to use for dilation? What operation? Brian, you remember what operation we used to use? Dilation. Dilation, yes. What operation we use? Do you remember? You don't remember? You don't? Okay, yes. And it is multiplication, ladies and gentlemen. We will multiply each number by one third. And this one will be also multiplied by one third. And now, 12 times 1 third is, you can use your calculator, it is equal to be 4. Negative 9 times 1 third is negative 3. Where is 4 and negative 3? I need to go back to the ocean. Where is 4 and negative 3? 4 right and 3 down. That's it. That's it. Is it clear? Brian, is it clear? Yes, let's go. Whoa, again, again, I'm not even coordinate plane. Oh, man, I'm not, I'm not even. So not a problem, though. I need to see where the center is, center is P. Okay, this is zero, zero. This is zero, zero. P is zero, zero. We will dilate. The coordinate C about point uh, P, that's the center. What is the coordinate C? Yes, Ruta, what is the coordinate of C? Let's see. She said five zero. One, two, three, four, five. Just go five right, but do not go up or down. That's absolutely correct, and it will be a markman. You are working on it. You are working. So T prime will be, and each and every single number you see here will be multiplied by two. And it will be five times two is 10, zero times two is, and zero. So now it will be 10 comma zero. Where is 10 comma zero? So let's start from the beginning. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But do not go up or down. It is it is just ten comma zero. That's it. Okay, that's it. One over five. One over five. One over five will be. Here. The scan factor is here, one over five. Plot the image of point C under the dilation about the origin zero with the scan factor of one over five. It's gonna be reduction. But we are lucky here. Why we are lucky? Because we are given a coordinate plane. We are not supposed to, we are not supposed to picturize the coordinate plane. It is already there. It is already there. Now, let's find the coordinate. See, this is the center. You see that? <coughs> center is always zero, zero. Now, center is always zero, zero. What is the coordinate of C? 
negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You see that it is 5, this is negative 5. So x is negative 5, y is 5. You see it is 5. Okay. Now, and c is negative 5, comma 5. Then the operation we will use is multiplication. And c prime will be negative 1, comma 1. Where is it? Where is it? So let me take this one down here. One left, one up. That's it. You see that? And it is a little bit away now from the center because it is five times now closer than C. Okay. Wow, I'm not given a coordinate plane now, but we understood the idea. Guys, what we will do first? Brian, what we will do first? Yeah, Brian. Yes, P is the center. This is center. This is zero, zero. P is zero, zero. This is center. Now, what is the coordinate of A, right? We will find coordinate A. Brian, what is coordinate A? Anybody want to help right? Right, it should know that. Right? Anybody want to help right? And then they think that right, and you need to get it done then. Because nobody told me the answer now. Who the you need to, uh, I mean, right, you need to get it. Right? What is it, right? But I am supposed to go. What? <laughs> what is the coordinate of A? Yes, absolutely, Brian. Thank you. He texts me that that's correct. Awesome. Yes, all P is the origin, P is zero, zero, but how we can get to A is two left, you see that this is zero, one, two left, one down. Two left, one down means that negative two, negative one. That's correct, right? Now, no. negative two, comma one. Now, we will multiply it by the scale factor now. That's all we do. A prime will be negative three, uh, negative two times three, which is negative six, negative one times three, negative three. Then it's guys negative six and three. This is zero. One, two, three, four, five, six left. One, two, three down. That's it. Oh, wow, we are celebrating now. Okay, second one. Dilations and scale factor. Now, root of pentagon A prime, B prime, C prime, and D, D prime and E prime is the image of the pentagon and A, B, C, D under dilation with a scale factor of 1 over 2. Is it going to be enlargement or reduction, Ruta? Yes, reduction, that's correct. Now, what is the length of segment C prime and D prime? Guys, the line you see on top of C prime and D prime is the length. So it is uh, corresponding to C prime and D prime is corresponding to CD, CD. Now, how many units is the CD? Let's count it. Now here it is one, two, three, four. CD is length CD is just four units. Now we are trying to find the length of C prime and D prime. The dilation operation is always multiplication. 
and we have to multiply it by the scale factor of one over two. And four times one is four, and four over two is just two, like Ruta said. Yes. And it will be two units because it will be reduction. The original one is four units, but the image one is the half of it. Now, this is the hard one. This is the hard one. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I am not given the original one. I am given the image one. All right. I am given the image one. Wow. The time already passed. Oh no, 10 to need. Okay. Now, so I'm not given the original one. I am given the image one. Am I supposed to still use multiplication or something else? Because I am not given the original one. I am given the image one. I am given the, you know, the opposite of the original one. We are given the image one. Do you think am I supposed to still use multiplication or the opposite of multiplication, which is division? What do you think? This is not the original one. This is the image one, Ruta. This is not, this is not the original one. This is the image one. We are trying to find the original one. C and D, that is tricky. So this is the image one. CD is corresponding to C prime and D prime, right? Yes, C prime and D prime. What is the length of C prime and D prime? One, two units. Yes, two units. And the, the shape is given me here is the, the fake one, the image one, not the original one. And the scale factor is one over three. I got this image, right? And three times smaller. Actually, the original one is three times bigger, right? This is what it means. Three times bigger. And if the or original one is three times bigger, that means the CD, length CD should be three times bigger than two units. So then how many units should be CD? So this time we will not be using division. Uh, I mean multiplication. We will be using division because we are given the opposite of the original shape. We are not given the original one. So two will be divided by one third. In this case, we will guys be using division and three, two times one third. Cheap change, division will be changed to multiplication. Fill it. One over three will be three over one. Two times three is six, and one will be six. The answer is six. Ruta, does it make sense? Okay. Dano! Yes? Is it enlargement or reduction, Dano? Um, which one is it? Here. This is the original one. This is the image one. Fake one. Okay, so it's, um, it's reduction. You're awesome! You're rocking! Absolutely correct. But, Donald, uh, one more question for you. Which line is the best line to compare to see how many times it got smaller or bigger? But you said reduction, so it will be smaller. What is the best line? B to A. You are amazing. You are rocking. That's it. Yes. A and B, or you can say B, A, because they are, those are straight lines, uh, so you can easily compare them, ladies and gentlemen. He's smart. He's smart and he chose the best one, 
and the one, two, three, four, five, six, the original one, six unit, but the image one is just two unit. How many times it got smaller? How many times it got smaller? Three times. Three times. Am I supposed to put three here? No. What I will put? Um, I forgot. It got three times smaller. If I put in here three, that means that it got three times bigger, right? How I can say it got three times smaller? Um, one third. Yeah, one third. You got it. Now, last one. Pentagon A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime, and E prime is the image of pentagon A, B, C, D under a dilation with a scale factor of <coughs> 5 over 2. What is the length of segment? Length A prime and B, E prime. A prime and E prime is corresponding to AE. And length AE is 1, 2 units. Right? Two units. Now multiply two by five over two. And it will be five units. Five units. It, I am given the original sheet, so therefore, guys, I used multiplication. All right. One more, then you we will be all set for today. Dilate triangles. I will just solve one question, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, I have two questions, thank you. Look, triangle A prime, B prime, and C prime is the image of ABC under a dilation whose center is P. P is the most important point in here. Every point can move but P. You can move ABC, it can go, you know, it can be getting closer to P or, you know, farther uh, to P, but it can, you cannot change the place of P. It is supposed to stay where it is. This is the only point, right? P. Now, and scale factor is three over two. Is it going to be enlargement or reduction, ladies and gentlemen? Enlargement or reduction? Enlargement or reduction? Enlargement. Enlargement, thank you, Dana. Now, basically it looks, A is reduction. A, do you think A can be answered? Do you think A can be the answer? No. No. Uh, B is also a reduction. Do you think um, B can be the answer? No. No. The answer will be either C or D. But don't forget this. Don't forget this. We cannot move this point. Now, this A and B and C will be getting farther to P because it is enlargement. P will stay where it is. But A will be going farther, and B will be going farther, and C will be going farther to P. But there's only one point we cannot change the place of the place. Where, who is that one? P. Now, here is the thing. P will stay where it is. It will be always the center. Oh, oh, it moved the center. Can we guys move the center? Which one is the answer then? C. Yes, C. Uh, I want to show another type of question here. Uh, I couldn't see such a question. Okay, this one. Guys, for this type of question, you need to map this one onto ABC because it looks there are a lot of points in there. And so I am not given a coordinate plane. I am just given a grid. That's not a problem at all. What you need to do is, this, you, you should do the same thing like what we did in the previous question. P, that is the center. That is the center. It is zero, zero. Center means that's zero, zero. P is center. Zero, zero. Now, what about A? What about A? A is one left, two up. One left, two up means that negative one, two. B is one down, sorry, two left, one down. Two left, 
two left, one down meter, two left, one down meter, negative two, negative one. How about C? Do not go up or down, just go two units to the right. Two zero. Two zero. Two zero. Now let's do it now. Let's do it now. The scale factor is three. We will multiply each one by three. Negative two times three is negative six. Negative one times three is negative three. And this one will be C prime will be six comma zero. Now there are those points now. Negative three six. Three left, one, two, three, and six up. One, two, three, four, five, six. How about B? Let me go to the center object. Six left, two, three, four, five, six, and then three down. One, two, three. And six zero means it. Go six to the right. Four, five, six. Then do not go up or down. Guys, does it make sense? Does it make sense? Yeah. Does it make sense? Okay. 